We advance at Bears or at Lions, please stream. Shit, I'm streaming. Hold on, I got you. Let me see what that title say. Another SmackDown. Oh boy. Allen Robinson is eating this year. I didn't even know he was close to a thousand yards. Khalil Mack has zero sacks. This is a little concerning. EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to one of our favorite spots, Venerable Soldier Field in Chicago. Just a short time ago, this crowd loud enough to shake the foundations of this nearly century-old building. They are ready for football indeed in Chicago as their guys get set to do battle with the Detroit Lions. Two slow, tall niggas. Week 10 of the NFL season is here, and we're underway on EA Sports. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And he'll take this up past the I found out we'd better die. At the 22 yard line. Nah, 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 fuck that. Don't our, don't our little voice chat go to the stream? Mm, I might. Turn my shit off. I'm not trying to hear myself. Oh, he, he wanted these type of niggas? Yeah. No, sir. Oh, he wanted these type of niggas. Okay, bet. When we see those runs to the perimeter, when we see those runs to the edge, we think about big breakers, don't we? In this case, it was a modest Yeah, I hear myself fire. It does open up possibilities here on second uh, Where you turn that shit off? Broadcast settings? Ah, I was in the wrong defense. He ass. Watch this. I just turned that shit off. You test it. I did. They did that dumbass update. I told you. I deleted it off my phone. I definitely still have myself. What the fuck? Fumble that bitch, Lavion, huh? Lavion, too good. And there we see an early burst that makes him one of the leading rushers in the league. Well, I want you to know, I listened to you yesterday when we were watching film. You said, write down the word vision for him. It was on display there, wasn't it? It certainly was, because he allows the blocks to set up in front of him. And if that continues, it could be a long afternoon for those guys trying to play some defense. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Hello. They go play action here on first down. He's going to wind up in there now. Oh! Nah, I, I don't know why the hell main chat just sucking my dick. He gets the all. Oh. Oh. Oh, man, oh, man. The shit I have to deal with with Madden today, bro. Damn. If a nigga going to win off of that, bro, he got it. Fuck it, bro. Y'all just gonna have to hear my beautiful Damn, Taylor voice. Gabriel. So I'm watching this damn stream. I don't, Brian, where you turn this shit off, bro? Yeah, it's like, when do you want to share your voice? Something like that. Trubisky brings the Bears up first and ten at their own 24. That nigga said fuck it all of them. <laughs> Bro, I don't know how he still hears me. Main's a creep. Main might have to restart his stream, fucking creep. I don't know, bro. Alright, what happened? Nah, your stream is still on my dick. What they say? Nah, nah, ain't nobody in here. It's just me. It's just I don't know how the hell you hear me. 
You think to yourself, stick with the game plan. There's someone else doing it. I think it's just me and Brian watching. But you have some teams that when they get down, they're natural. Yep, I see what type of game it's about to be. Why aren't you in a circle? Well, I mean, you made the right read, but damn, my man circle kind of upset. Bruh, I see, bruh, I see what type of game it's about to be. You don't even got to rock to me. <laughs> Mitchell tr Truth Mitch? No, that's not Mitch's fault. I don't know why he didn't catch the ball. <laughs> That nigga literally did not catch the ball. Hey, Lane, watch the stream, bro. We ain't doing nothing. Watch the jump. Bro, I'm about to sub this nigga out of the game, bro. Who is the Trey Burton? He got whacked. No, bro. He has to. That's a cat. You have to catch that. No way. No way. That nigga got smacked. The fucking kick, boy. That is a good ass punt. My stream is like a second behind you, man. Okay, man. Updating your stream Wi-Fi and shit. I see you. What the fuck? Who, why is this nigga in the game? Hold on, bro. Who is this nigga? <laughs> that nigga ran a wildcat on the goal line. Proceeded. Oh, shit. Nigga, that's Le'Veon Bell. To try and get you to the Super Bowl. And right now fighting for everyone possible to try to at least secure home field for the wild card and or divisional round. <laughs> now have a little more space to maneuver from the 15 first and 10. Like Hey, don't let that nigga beat you and put the Matthew Stafford guitar on, bro. He do that up there. He does. That shit I'm, funny. I'm lagging right now. <laughs> nigga just keep spamming his spin move. This nigga Le'Veon spin move fast as shit, bro. Le'Veon spin is ridiculous. And I think you can't let him run wild here. Where you think 100 yards, the measuring stick? Always. That is the oh, Roquan's first tackle. But I don't know who relevant this today. I don't know who this nigga is, but I don't know why he keeps getting in the game. I'm lagging, bro. If you lagging, I ask him to charge me. But he probably won't pick up. I mean, the game. Bro, why is this? Who is this nigga, bro? I don't know why he keeps getting in the game. I really don't. And take him out. And, like, make him completely sit. Bruh, this nigga, I don't know why he's touching the field. What the? He's slow. He's 80 speed, 2 speed. Oh, that nigga was on the field. Oh, oh yeah, I don't know. Bro, this shit is fucking amazing, bro. <laughs> Chief, my subs ain't never fucked up. <laughs> I don't even be doing too much. Oh, your stream popping, bro. Niggas in this show. It was like eight for a second. Now yeah, let Leonard Floyd get in if I'm in a four. Let me get in a four three, bro. It was like eight for a second. So the line of scrimmage moves all the way across the fifty now as they come up first and ten. The give is to Bell. God damn it, this nigga Le'Veon don't fumble, bro. Look at this Le'Veon Bell, Negro. The most talented bitch in NFL history. Meet that nigga, bro. Yeah, bro. What you think I said? They gonna build the best talent? Nah, he's the most talented bitch. I'm gonna be blowing it. Let me get that. Let me fucking get that. We gone to the crib. So almost going to bitch. And I'm lagging. Ooh. Yeah, fool. 
If you had fumble off of you lagging and not being moved, I would have cracked up. I'm sorry. You fuck this game. Hate this game. Dumbass O line, bro. <laughs> Damn, I'm really not. I'm really like a second behind main. That's tough. Hey, main shit used to be like. 30 behind, bro. So a nice job to break the one tackle, but not much daylight after that like as he's brought down. Oh. Harrison, the one on the stop. I think Derrick Henry broke a tackle after just getting the ball. <laughs> nah, that's a big ass nigga, bro. You gotta find a way to hold the ball in 20, because to me, that's the magic number. 20 points scored. Give yourself a big, you give yourself a big chance. Yeah, this was enough and open, bro. I was reading everything in the middle, and I didn't even look on the other side of the field. Oh, that's my fault. Yeah, I'm about to say, yeah, I won, and you look left. Let me get you, like, quick five. He probably going man to man right now. I would. I say like, fuck you. These niggas are getting dogged. Yeah, your line's kind of charming. Good fellas. Oh, I hate leaving on so much. Bro, see how my Brian should not in the stream. My only people. Bro, what the fuck? Hold on. Contact, or it could have been a loss. Yeah, give credit to the defensive player, though. What did he do? Made him slow down, slow up his feet. All right, hello. Swear to God. What the fuck? <laughs> Bro, why is it? Oh, shit, I see the jump. Oh, shit. <laughs> Inside the 40. He had the touchdown earlier. This one's going to get him a first down. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Here's a carry now for Keith Marshall. And he'll be brought down somewhat awkwardly here and a late flag as well. I think this one's going to be a face mask. I guess I can't even press X no more without niggas doing dumb shit. Bro, this nigga just spent as soon as he got the fucking ball. I can't play better defense than what I'm playing, bro, honestly. We can talk all we want about football being a game of strength and brawn. It's also a game of mismatches, and they're trying to create one there. Getting it to their back out of the backfield to make a bigger play. As we often say, get it to him in space, let him use his leg. Yeah, if, if he can get a matchup against a linebacker, or maybe a defense then dropping out the zone blitz. I just had to run that shit with Matt Stafford. No gain there as he kept it himself at second down. Sometimes play calls boil down to philosophy. You know you're facing one of the top 10 units against the run in the NFL. So do you decide to keep smashing against them, or do you decide to throw the ball here? Second and goal, and they will try again from the two-yard line. Run a toss. They'll try to run Fucking fullback. And he put Le'Veon at fullback. This nigga's hilarious. Le'Veon Bell with touchdown number 
12 on the year. And the Lions are able to grow their lead. And he knocks All right, come on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let me get back on my shit, man. Here's Prater now set to kick it away. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And all that work, but he yeah, I saw that shit too. Would have been, and he simply taken a knee, and that's the 25-yard line. And now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. Already down two touchdowns here in the first half. This becomes a pretty important drive, Fuck doesn't BJ it? Tucker. It certainly does, and a lot of teams script plays. We know that, right? They they have a script to start the ball game. And typically those scripts go between 12 and 24. 20. Touchdown. 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 Get out there fucking cover four. His second touchdown on the season. And the Bears are able to show off their quick strike ability. Mm, he almost blocked that shit. This offense was in desperate need of a quick answer. And they got it. One play. And they're right back in this game. Because you got the sense if they stalled out here and then another score on the other side to make it a three-score game, could have gotten ugly. This is fielded a couple yards deep. Fuck and yeah. Across the 20 before he's brought down at about the 23-yard line. And Detroit getting set to Oh, uh, now niggas want to sing that song. Niggas ain't never heard that song till I played it. what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you score the points, it's a Oh, I'm lagging, bro. And he's brought down after a very nice game. A big chunk on the ground there, 27 yards. Sometimes those lines that are drawn on a grease board or in a playbook... They come to life <laughs> out on the field, don't they? And we just saw that on that outside handoff to the right. That right tackle, he gets excited for that call, doesn't he? He does, because he just wants to dominate his guy and say, listen, I was the point of attack. I took care of business. That's why you're able to get downfield and add all those yards to your total. He ran my really play. Nice That's the there. fucked up part. I know how to stop my own play. No, what? Uh, fuck this. I, I trust my I trust my corners against his DB. Okay, I trust my corners against his receivers. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. They'll pitch it out. Yeah, I trust my corners. Fuck this. I trust my corners. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football, but that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter. Here in peril. Yeah, we saw the result. Negative yardage. To throw on second down. Stafford. His throw is complete. Oh, they were looking for Marshall that time. And that'll make it third down. Didn't have a receiver open downfield as it turned out. Couldn't even find I thought they was about to call that shit. The coverage is way too tight. Unable to find anyone open. Throwing on third down. Stafford. And he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. That's a good job there creating the contact to force the incompletion. And now since it's fourth down, that should set up a field goal situation. And a nice sigh of relief defensively to be able to hold them to three. And this one is going to I just wonder. tuck into the bottom left mm -hmm. corner. Go man. He He's relying on him getting out the pocket and plays breaking down. So if I go man to man and I'm blitzing and I'm sending Khalil Mack at his ass every time, that shit not going to keep working. So I got something for his ass. I'm going to keep going man to man. Oh, if you notice, he got the, he moved the ball. Oh, we got the, who didn't block the kicker? Call it the 26 yard line. The Bears offense now heading back out onto the field. And last time the formula was pretty simple. One play Fuck. drive, long pass. That maybe they just want to do that again, right? And that's exactly how you want to draw things up. Whether it's on your grease board, right, in your playbook, one play drives exactly what you want on offense. Damn, Damn bro. Is not having a letdown. It yeah. was real easy last time. They can't expect that going forward. And we'll see if it's that easy here. That was a good thing. He keep running cover four. That's all he's running is cover four. If you haven't noticed. Alright. Give me some time, my guy. I'm lagging. I lagged. I lagged. 
wish I, I wish I could just stop lagging, bro. I wish I could stop lagging. Not Let's see what they draw up here. Third and long following the sack of Trubisky. Out of the gun, Trubisky. It's his target. It's Taylor Gabriel. The 21 yards there as they convert on third. I think it all came together there. In breaking route. Drove it with excellent pace. Money throw right there to move the sticks. Well, they don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. So. On first and ten, it's Trubisky. It's a short Why did he catch the ball and just stand there? Like, just think of Trey Burton is fucking mental. Give him a couple on the catch at second and eight. But this nigga's mental, bro. Here in the first half. We're back to Soldier Field. Following this short break, yeah, I'm not giving you a two tight end monster. I'm sorry. On second down, Trubisky. He dumps it off for Henry. But he keep trying to he keep trying to truck Derrick Henry. That shit is not going to work. So many times you hear today's NFL described as a space game. Get your best players into space with the football in their hands. Yeah, this, That's why sometimes you swing it out to your runner, get him out in the flat, and let him have a chance to make people miss an open field. They'll try to run for the power. Who was that? Who was in the game? Jordan Howard is in the fucking game. That's it. And now the Lions gonna stop yep. us momentarily yep, 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 as they yep, call yep, a yep, timeout. Yep. As they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. Okay. And Detroit getting set to go now. Don't go wild, had a yeah. very solid first half, and as we near the end of that first half, they're just looking for a little more on top of their lead right now. And when you put together a game plan on offense, you put together what you think is going to be the best possible scenario, right? Hey, we're going to score. These are the plays that are going to do it. But you also put together your counters. Meaning, after they make adjustments to what you're doing, what do we have to go to next? The adjustment to the adjustment. Exactly. So I can't wait to see if we come out of the half, how they're going to go about doing things. Do you just keep running what you ran before, or do you go to your counters expecting those adjustments to happen? Before that, we'll see the end here this first half. A three-yard loss to start the drive. They'll look to make that up, and then some on second and 13. Stafford. Flushed out right. Incomplete. All right, let's go ahead and detail this situation here. Third and long coming up. Back near your own goal line. I would be very hesitant about throwing the football in this situation. Maybe just run, run up the middle. Yeah, I think that that might be the spot for them. You got to try and find some space for your punter because you don't want him backed up where he has to alter what he does. They'd like to avoid punting from their own end zone so they could use something here on third down. Now contact up front as penalty markers come in. Who is this against? Five yards on the pickup, and that'll make it third down. Now Stafford. Rush coming in. Taken down. Now the Bears electing to call a timeout defensively as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Here's Sam I should have, I should have blitzed his ass just for air here as his first punt comes from deep in his own end zone. Nah, I'm time on this. Time on this kick. And he's able to get it out of there. And this is a pretty good kick. All right, so Take it right go. The 44. I shouldn't have spun. I should have just took what he was giving me. Turn there, 16 yards, and it'll be a short field for the Bears as they take over first and ten. The Bears' offense now getting ready to take over. I was trying to make down on the enough. scoreboard, certainly needing to avoid what happened on the last drive, punting the football. Sense of urgency has to take over for them here. They know the score, they know the situation, go, 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 go. and by the way, the punter no longer exists for their offense. That's how they have to treat this drive. They need points, big time. On first down, Trubisky. And this is Gabriel on the catch. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 
the 10-yard line. Give him 30 yards there. We just saw him hit a big play there on a deep post. And most of the time, the post isn't available because you usually have defenders in the middle of the field. But if you throw enough curls and crossing routes and underneath routes, now Howard stripped. He lost the football. He'll get it up the middle. But the Bears look to get this one back, and indeed they did. So they'll keep possession. Wow. That I know. is knocked free. I got it. But back. a teammate comes along and scoops it up. Almost like it's almost like baseball. Guys at bat, people are on base in scoring position. One guy doesn't get them home. The next guy comes through and picks him up. And avoids the turnover. And again, the run defense yeah, down this know. time. I was he maybe that. gets back to the line of scrimmage, but no more. So stuff for no gain on second down brings up a pretty interesting third from this distance. I'm throwing the ball, and I'm not even thinking about play pass. I'm going to let him know right away I'm throwing it. I'm probably giving my quarterback some room, sprint him out to one side or the other, and give him an opportunity. If it breaks down, he can take off and run for it. So oh, it's a touchdown if he holds on. Instead, it's fourth down. Anytime a defense can sit back in a zone like that, it tends to create a lot of congestion in the middle of the field. It makes it very hard to slot right in. Look like an I-4 at rush hour in your hometown of Orlando. I would think Trey Burton's six seven, so I would think a little nigga coming down, and I would think he could be able to catch that. But uh, Trey Burton is not that short. Trying to chip away at a lead, but they do know that they're going to need a little bit better effort in the second half. Fielded about a yard deep. Then he'll take this across the twenty-five couple extra yards up to the 27-yard line. Here's the Lion offense. Yeah, that doesn't change the fact that he should have caught that goddamn ball. And with time quickly oh. fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Space to maneuver at the 40. Bell sheds him off. Great way to start the drive. 20 big ones in a first down. I just need to hold him right here. If he don't score, I get the ball back. Huh? He not six three. He might as well be a fucking receiver. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and ten. The final shot before the break. Stafford. Pressure and he's taken down. A sack. An abbreviated halftime show as we get rolling to quarter three. So we have reached halftime with a big Lions taking the lead to the break. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. Able to slither by. And a nice job there as he gets this one up just shy of the 35 yard line at the 34. So here's the Bears offense now as they get set to start this third quarter. They're close, close game, but they're going to need to do a little bit better probably here at half two, no? I would agree with that totally. I would sure. guess it in the locker room. They talked out, about bro. cleaning up some of the errors, but overall I think they wanted to be positive with them. Guys, we're right there. Just not I don't want Jordan Howard in my game. To. Let's pick it up, go, go, but we go. still have a chance to win this game. Yeah, they do. We'll see if they can pick it up. They keep it on the ground. This time it's Henry. Room to run past midfield. And finally taken down at the 44-yard line. They give him 17 yards that time as that'll move the chains. At this stage of the game, the run pass numbers are a little bit out of whack because most of their yardage has come through the air. But in a sense, that just sets things up for big runs get, like that. Get mad at me, nigga. Might be a little bit off balance. They pick up another first down with that run. They keep it with Henry on first down. And some good tackling there as he stopped up at about the 41. Dante Hightower on the stop. Tough first half for him. Unable to put up the numbers he's used to producing. But with a guy like him, you and I both know it just takes a couple of explosive <laughs> touches for him to make an impact on this game go, and on the stat sheet as well. <laughs> Now they'll throw it with Trubisky. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him. Complete. Who the fuck just put Derrick Henry on his ass like this? To the 39. It'll be a pickup of just two, and they're going to face a third down. Red man's up. Here's the 
Here's Trubisky. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Burton. Trubisky fighting the former Eagle Burton for the Chicago first. That was a route run, not just with Taylor Gabriel was open, but with intelligence. Found the I know. I always zone. send him on the street. Sure the that shit. That's my favorite play on the goal line, sure especially with a tight end. That that's the play I ran with Trey Burton should have caught it. That play right there, and I send my tight end on the streak, bro. No DB, nobody. I'm seeing man to man coverage right now. Looking to throw Trubisky on first down. Ah, I, I read. Colin, didn't I say I'm reading man to man? Didn't I say that? Because he just knew he was about to take a big shot. Probably couldn't get his legs into the throw. Became an all-arm throw, trying to check it down to his running back. Incomplete. This is Howard on second down. See, that's why I don't like Jordan Howard in my fucking football game. Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You force the incompletion, then a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe you bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try and defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? The fuck team does Chris have? On third down, Trubisky. Oh, happy Taylor Gabriel ain't fumbled that shit. Oh, that's Gerard Davis. I know who that is. Just a five-yard pickup, and it leads to fourth down. Fuck it. And Parkey's kick is good. I'm stuff. I'm stopping his offense. But I'm not really. Like, I would like usually. I go for it. It's fourth and two. Fuck it. But I'm gonna just take my points. I'm stuffing his offense. And the net result, three points. Take your disappointment and put it aside. Nine plays. Yeah, they want to end up in the end zone with a touchdown. I get that. But sometimes those nine play drives pay dividends later with another nine play drive. It went down. In a touchdown when they wear down a defense. So we get a look at the Lions' offense as they get ready for their first possession of the second half. Stafford and the Lions now have it first and ten at their own twenty-yard line. From the gun, here's Stafford. Bring his ass here. Bring his ass here. Stafford is sacked. Well, so much for setting the tone of the drive offensively. Giving up a big sack that loses that kind of yardage, not a great start. So now 20 yards to go on second down after the sack. Work to be done. Off of play action. Here's Stafford. Pick that shit, man. Let's go. Complete on the deep ball. He was trying to get it to T.J. Jones that time. And now it's third down. And Charles got to like what this defense has been able to do these last couple of plays. Yeah, they get the sack on first down. Then they force the incomplete pass. Now they're just a play away from getting the football right back. But it's a big play. You got to force niggas to throw the ball. Incomplete pass on that last play. And that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. They'll fake it. Now Stafford. And to the left side here, Wilson. And he'll be brought down right Fourth down. Let's go. Fourth down. Fourth down. Fourth and edges. He can go for it. Fourth and edges. He can go for it. Fuck. He not past the 50, but he about to go for it. I already know what type of time he on. He probably about to ask you if he can go for it. What? What the fuck wrong with you? If I was him, it wouldn't be sm it wouldn't be smart to go for it. Nah, he was just like, what's going on? <laughs> so
So in their own territory, but they only need a few inches. So they're going to opt to go for this thing. We'll see. Maybe a surprise pass or run. What will they do? We're about to find out. Fourth down. They'll run for it with Marshall. No! His way inside the Who the fuck is this? His second touchdown on the season. And the Lions add on to their lead. That wasn't Mac. I don't think that was Mac. Prater for the extra point. And the decision to just kick the extra <laughs> point winds up successful. Here's Prater now set to kick it away. Fielded about a yard deep. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. So now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. And tough to win games if you're going field goal, field goal, field goal. Here they got field goal last time. Now they'll be looking for a touchdown. They're looking for the big chunk now because, as you noted, the field goal, field goal, field goal way of doing it makes it that much harder and puts more pressure on every possession for you now. Go ahead and get six and feel a lot more comfortable about the position they're in. Bigger chunks. We'll see if they can get the score. First play of the drive, a success. 19 yards. So, so niggas not gonna slice that. Uh, niggas ain't gonna slice that hurdle. I just deal with Trubisky. Now a play fake here on first down. Flush to his right. He's got his man on the crossing route. And he is. Let's go. Touchdown, Chicago. Taylor Gabriel with touchdown number eight on the year. And the Bears draw a bit closer. Now Trubisky will lead the Bears up to go for two. They're going to keep it on the ground. And he will get into the end zone to cut the lead a little bit further. So just a three-point game now as they send this one away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get it up to the 29-yard line. And Detroit getting set to go now. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that Ooh. worked. But you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know... Nah, that was, that was, uh... They'll start out on the ground with them. Let's fucking go, bruh. Here. Nah, that was Keith Marshall. A full three yards, and now it's second down. Brandon, that play certainly felt like what I call a tendency breaker. First yeah, if he had a regular attack on me here. Play, that's not a normal situation, but give credit to the defense. Yeah. They weren't fooled at all and really finished off the play. So now they have to contend with second and 13 after the first down run goes backwards. I don't know how the fuck I don't know how the fuck I got seven subscribers. Right side by Wilson. And they work this well up field across the 45. And a nice gain of 21 yards. Fuck no. On first and ten, Stafford. And the pressure gets to him and brings him down. Stafford is sacked. Khalil Mack, he's the one to get him, and that's sack number seven for him on the year. Well, they're in some Hi, water gee. now after that sack. It's second and 21. Ain't the... Here's Stafford. Going to look deep for Wilson. I just had five niggas drop a pick. The tight end Luke Wilson was a target. Third down here. I know the initial focus was on how far that pass was down on the play. Able to stay with him, get his hands where the receiver's hands were going to try and catch the ball. Tips it up in the air and knocks it away. Third and long, it's Stanford. Oh, incomplete. Nearly the pick they needed. They would have loved one there, but at least it does get them to fourth down. I know, Lane. You got to tell me. I know, my guy. This offense is marched up and down the field during this game. It's almost.
almost a surprise to see an incomplete pass on third down, isn't it? Yeah, they if that was Eddie, that's a pick. That was a rookie. That's a rookie DB. If it was Eddie, that was a pick. Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. And things are starting to move in the right direction. I mean, I put a rookie. I put a rookie free safety back there. So let him just make speed. Yeah, now they have a chance to get the lead if they can put something together here. And I'm eager to see how they decide to do it. They want to be methodical, or they want to take the big strike yes, and go after it right now. They'll start on the ground. It's Derrick Henry. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. First play of the I, all I did was trade Josh Hart and, and, and Ingram and got Josh Richardson. Now that was an excellent run. And when you see that happen, that's when you're seeing guys doing their job and then some people doing a little bit more. Offensive linemen and tight ends, they're expected to block. But the wide receivers, all they want to do is catch passes. So when they block on a big-time running play and create extra space, you've got to hit the jackpot there. Running game working. Now stick with it on first down. And able to use his blockers to get this up over the 40. Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards. And it's second and two. This one incomplete. Seeing no options, he throws it away. I guess too good. Don't sound too rah rah on that one, but that's the exact right throw. Either your receiver gets it or no one gets it. Give him a lot of credit for being really precise with it. Got rid of it. No one got it. Second and ten. It's Trubisky again. They call it a hold. He goes down. It'll be smart so if you do third. Now the penalty looks like it could be holding. Let's find out. So critical at this stage of the game is now they've got it third and long. From the gun, it's Trubisky. Eluding the pressure right. Oh, I can't hang Hey, on third and 18, five minutes left. Should I give him the ball? Should I punt the ball? I'm going to punt the ball. I'm going to punt the ball. does get him to fourth down. Here's Pat O'Donnell now. He's been terrific so far. 44 on his first punt, and this is a good kick as well. And Detroit getting set to go now. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now, with the game this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. Stafford and the Lions now have it first and 10 at their own 18. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll take this one up to about the 23. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Well, Brandon Pace comes into play now because they've got the advantage. That was they've got the football, but they've got to be very careful about what speed they're going to play. You know, my, my music teacher back at New Paltz, Mrs. Bythema Bagley, used to say, don't go prestissimo when you really want to go Largo. And what she meant by that is don't go too fast when you really want to go at a nice, slow, deliberate pace. I am speechless. I am without speech. Back to the ground, this time with Bell. And he got blown up on that play. Back at the 20. They'll wind up losing three. And now it's third down. 
Now, obviously, that's some good work there defensively, being able to stop them and bring it up a key third down. But if you're on the offensive side of the ball, there's an opportunity because I know what defensive guys are thinking right now. Just stop them, get to the ball. That means they might not be sound defensively. There could be some opportunities. And you said key third down. Highlight that word. Put it in bold. Here we go. Stafford to the former Seahawk Wilson for Alliance first. Stafford now six for six since coming back out of the locker room. It's first and ten. up past the 45 before being tackled. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. These guys are running offense like you drive. The pedal is down, stomp down. How about that? Back-to-back -back completions. They are rolling. So much for being conservative and running that football. <laughs> Again to Bell. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. And in this situation with the lead fourth quarter, they're liking keeping the ball on the ground, I'm sure. That's just smart football, but you know the defense has to know it as well. They've got to stop them here. So now we're going to see that loading the box in a big way. Six, seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take. Puts a little bit more pressure on your big offensive line. Throwing to Stafford. And this one complete to Julius Thomas. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. That one goes for 24 yards. Funny thing was, if that was Eddie Jackson, that was a fucking, that was a pick. As they're down to the 29-yard line. Back to throw, Stafford. And he's got the hook up to Macklin. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and you can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. That one will go for nine yards and a first down on the keeper. Now, that was a designed run. Now, remember, if a quarterback goes feet first, he's protected. But if he dives head first, he's not. On that play, he figured the risk was worth the reward. Wilson snags it left side. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. The completion good for the try to stop him this first. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion they would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. One of the bigger plays in the game thus far. The crowd getting into it as we come up on a big third down. To throw is Stafford. Finding a safety valve here. That's complete. And a timeout. Why did I call a timeout? Just six seconds away from the two-minute warning. This defense wanted to stop the clock prior to that, and they do. I don't know why the fuck I just called a timeout. And Prater's kick is on the money. It's good. And that will double their lead as it's up to six. So they get he was, the three. But if, he was smart, he if he was enough. smart, he would have squipped it. That's a good question because when I look at the smiles on that side of the field, they're a little tight, aren't they? If they had scored a touchdown there, those would be big half-moon grins right now because <laughs> they'd feel a whole lot better about their position. Well, and a touchdown in the other direction, all of a sudden they're down. Trubisky brings the Bears up first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. From the shotgun is Trubisky. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. Time for a break. We'll come back for the electrifying conclusion after this. Brian don't know. Brian is in that motherfucker to play. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. Hey, 18, 18, 18. Back 
to throw. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. Yep. Oh, yep, 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 yep. As it's intercepted. Yep, I lost. It's the 2014 NFL interception leader, Glover Quinn. And I didn't think Glover Quinn was that fast. I, that's my fault. And that one, oh, it's going to hurt big time. You're in the two-minute drill, trying to get your guys down the field, and it's looking like they're going to go just short. I didn't think, I didn't think Glover Quinn was that fast. wind up being intercepted. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Now they'll try to sweep with Bell. Try to bounce it outside, but he's only able to get it back to the line of scrimmage. And play is stopped here. Timeout. It's the defense calling the timeout here. As they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Another running situation on the doorstep as they come up second and ten. They'll go again with Bell. And able to get this one all the way up to about the 46-yard line. It'll be a gain of seven, and they get it back to a third and three. And this is an absolutely big third down that's been set up here, partner. And there's no other way to put it. The defense has to get a stop here if they have any hopes of winning this game. Pastor, you said big third down. I'd put the word big in capital letters here. So here we go, Charles. Third down. Any chance you're throwing? I don't think so. I think you got to keep the clock rolling here. will throw it. They're able to locate Wilson. I knew he was looking for that the whole time, too. That's the crazy part. To put this one in the I got fucking columns. caught. But they picked up a little bit of yardage there, and now, in this situation, should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. I should leave you out there. That was, that was really the goal. I guess the simple question, why not just take a knee there? I don't understand either why you would take any sort of a chance. We've seen it happen in the game of football. doesn't matter whether you watch high school, college, or the NFL. Some people get a little greedy, try to get that extra running play in, and it can backfire on them. Space to run past the 20. And he's going to drop this off to his fullback. And all the way down to the five. He is cool. against him from now on. We're going to be a very heavy. We're going to be a... If we take away that one bullshit, if we take away that one bullshit ass touchdown he had the first drive, and that touchdown I let him get on fourth down, he wasn't beat me. But it is what it is. Go ahead and advance, bro. Hot as fuck outside. It's hot as fuck in here. Hey, the kings open? Give them kings. Give them kings, man. No matter of fact, the pace is open? Why 
because I can't do that. Thing. Yes. You smell it. I how I'm gonna smell my own ass. Fuck. You smell it. Yeah. Who is y'all? Oh yeah, I t that nigga Paul George really cooks. The king's not over. I am niggas geeking for the king. So what team's over? Oh, oh, so Chris think he about to get McCaffrey. Okay. Oh, he was a, oh, let me take my bid fully off this nigga now. My money back. Nah, bro, that's bullshit, bro, because you wasn't home. You could, don't suck my dick. That doesn't make sense. They, no, 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 no. Okay, so if Chris was going by 6, he would have re-signed his players by 6 o'clock. So if it goes to 8 o'clock, you have more time to sign. Hold on, bro. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, bro. Yeah, then he played. Then he played me again. Then he played the Falcons, I think. Oh my God! Fuck you! Hit me for like I'm gonna kick you in your fucking face. They said I could sign McCaffrey. He said, The Chiefs just said, Who said you can't sign McCaffrey? And I'm telling you what he just told me. The excuse doesn't make sense. Nah, bro, what you mean, bro? Fuck out of here, bro. I'm tired of niggas. Bro, I don't care, but that nigga can wreck me if he want to. I don't care. Don't give a fuck. Nobody give a fuck about no damn Chris getting mad. Bitch ass Chris. All right, they, he was. Does this make sense? We told this nigga that Vans was at six o'clock, so he got to resign his players by six o'clock, but he can't get him back. So we have, we pushed it back to eight o'clock. He said, "Oh, I was going by the six o'clock time. That's why I ain't signed nobody back." Are you listening? Uh -huh. You are, bro. Niggas being dumbasses about to make me mad. Some little niggas. They're older than me. All of them are older than me. So what? Uh, they still little niggas. They're older than me. <laughs> You're a little nigga. Only nigga you probably the same height as is Colin. And Brian. You probably the same height as Colin and Brian. You say anything about height. They ain't number number.
I thought you and Brian was the same height. My fault. Oh, you taller than oh, you taller than Keys. That nigga Keys a baby. Yeah, you taller than Keys. Keys. Oh, I can bid on McCaffrey. You didn't even tell me what teams was open. Eric, shut your mouth. Shut your disrespectful little mouth. Oh, this nigga giving Christian McCaffrey that fucking bag. I can get Joe Mixon. Fuck Christian McCaffrey. I can get Joe Mixon. Ho. Who oh, send me the you sent the jump? Hold on, let me look. Shit way back. <laughs> I it Hard ass kiss. Hard ass lips. Strong face ass. Oh, he realized he My lips not hard. Motherfuckers. Oh, big West Big Westbrook. What'd you say, big guy? What's the name of that jumpy guy? Goat. Oh, Goat 19, season one. Oh. 
Damn, Eric, niggas real live, being like shit on Vic Beasley. Niggas. But where is Deion Jones? That's what I'm looking for. No, that don't mean he resigned, nigga. That mean you franchise tagged him. I definitely don't. I definitely would have did the same thing. See if I get my fuck around, get Duke Riley then. Duke Riley that work. I don't know why niggas being on this nigga Quincy Wilson like he not slow as shit. All these slow ass corners. These corners slow as shit. Ooh, all the keys. I don't know what the fuck you showing me. I was just saying that cute. Damn. Alright, let's get a motherfucking thing. <laughs> hey, I already knew what your plan was. Your ass is not slick. You tried to show me cases. Look, that case is cute, right? It's cute. You're not getting shit. I'm not getting you shit. Yeah, look at you. Thought you were slick, didn't you? You could have sworn you was the slickest bitch in the East Coast. Could have sworn you was the slickest bitch in the East Coast just now. No, sir. Not looking. No. Not getting no matching cases. Bro, what type of gay shit you on, bro? Bro, what, what type of gay shit you on, cuz? Bro, 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 as a man, as a, as a man, though, as a man, make me hit you in your face. Bro, as a man, as, as a man, make me hit you in your face. I'm going for the best niggas in free agency. Fuck it. Yeah, fuck that shit. I'm going negative in my cap space and all that. Bro, stop talking to me about stupid shit. Before I get mad and I start punching shit. Now you should have had like 90 Ain't he already a 90? You can get him I'm not putting that shit on my phone Fuck I like the case I got right now You ain't scaring me talking like that So Okay You see what phone You see what count, You see what case I got on my phone You see what case I got on my phone Don't make me wrap it to me And I'm not break, I'm not getting I'm not taking my case off I'm, My case is not coming off of my phone What the fuck now stop arguing with me for I hit you in your shit. I'm 
SpongeBob was gay, so. No, he wasn't. SpongeBob was a thousand percent gay. Anybody that don't think that SpongeBob is gay is gay. I'm sorry. But I said, do you, is he gay? I'm talking about SpongeBob. SpongeBob is definitely gay. Y'all niggas are tripping. Bro, that nigga's that nigga's gay. He's gay. Bitch, I ain't no beast. I'm the beauty. I'm the bo I'm the beauty. You the beast. No. <laughs> You're the beast. Fuck you talking about. Oh bitch. Oh bitch. The motherfucker. Nah. I'm not getting a matching case with you. Okay. Bury him, mocking you. Hey, yo, how she sound? What type champ shit you trying to be on? I don't, I don't know what part of I'm not doing that shit that you're not good. Bro, it's going to be the same case with just a Lilo and Stitch on it. That's literally what she's saying. I'm not getting matching cases with you. You can stop asking me. I'm not asking you. I'm telling you. Like, if we can give... i get some matching socks with you or something. Some matching socks? Yeah, because I wear pants. I wear sweatpants all day.